Michelle. My mama taught me not to wear a hat in the house, but since this is a barn, I think we're okay. <laughs> I will say, I've, I've been around a long time in this organization, and uh, a lot of you were here when, the, when I first joined, and a lot of you have only been here a short time, but Penny, you did good. This is a lot of fun. You got Thank you very much. It is my uh, great honor and privilege tonight to present these two awards. And uh, I think maybe I was asked to present these awards because I feel close to the, the two recipients tonight. And those of you that know me well know that I tend to get pretty emotional at times. No. So if that happens, please don't think badly of me. I, I, I appreciate what these people have done for us as an organization and uh, for our community, because that's the kind of people that they are. The first one that I would like to uh, give out tonight is the Vendor of the Year. As I said earlier, I've been around this community and owned my own business in the Grove area since I was 18 years old. So I've been very involved and seen what's going on for a long, long time. And very seldom do you see a community like ours that is truly a melting pot uh, of, of all types of people from all parts of the United States and even in some cases from around the different parts of the world. Once in a blue moon, somebody comes along and makes an immediate impact to the community. The vendor of the year has been there before. He's come to our community and has given himself, given the really time with his family, and has become so involved to this community, it, it, it is really quite remarkable. I think that was a score, just <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, hang on just a minute. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, she knows where I'm at, too. So. But uh, anyway, uh, it, sorry for that little prelude there, but, uh, because what we're about to do is extremely important. And this person has uh, just immersed himself in our community. And I'm getting ready to give it away by telling you that not only has he become a, a tremendous vendor, if that's what we want to call him, in our industry here locally, but he's become deeply involved in our community as a city councilman. He's, uh, he's become a, a, a tremendous asset to our Grand Lake Association board. And he's just one of the finest young men I've ever had the privilege of knowing in my life. And the vendor of the year, Marty Fox. This person that, that wins the award this year is very close 
to my heart. She's been with my company for several years. She's one of the most professional people I've ever met in my life. She's done a tremendous job for us, and the tough part of all this is I'm going to lose her. She's going to semi-retire, and that's what I keep saying. <laughs> semi-retire. And hopefully she'll, she'll be around to, to help out some of the young folks in our old organization and, and uh, still lend a helping hand once in a while. I really believe she will. She's not only heavily involved in the Board of Realtors, but also in several organizations around our community. She gives her time from a volunteer standpoint to more than, than anybody I've ever been around, except maybe Marty, and I think they're probably equal in that. So it is my great pleasure to announce your Realtor of the Year, Miss Joan Romero.